What's up Church Media Pros? Today I want to talk about the best wireless handheld system for your vocalists. Stick around. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward and on this channel we talk about all things church media production and advertising and today guys I want to talk about the best handheld wireless system for your vocalists. Uh, your, your worship leaders will love it, your background vocals will love it, and uh, your tech people will absolutely love it, and you will love it if you're the tech person, so or, or if you're the worship leader for that matter. So let's get into my screen here. I've got it right up on. It's not this guy here. That is the Sennheiser. That's the, uh, the competitor to what I want to talk about. But this guy right here is the uh, the Shure ULXD 4Q. It's a four channel, one rack space wireless unit uh, by Shure. It is the, uh, it's not quite the 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 top top of the line, but is uh, just underneath. I prefer it over anything that I've used in the past, guys. I've used, uh, um, you know, the highest end stuff possible. Uh, um, and I've used probably the worst stuff possible as well in my uh, 20 year plus year career in uh, in church media production. But uh, this one's my favorite and I'll give you a couple reasons why. First of all, um, it's it's just a great system. It's, it's, it's solid, reliable, one rack unit, um, four channel. It has an, uh, an infrared transmitter on the front so you can do really quick wireless system changes. Just hold up your mic or hold up, you can use this with with handhelds, you can use it with uh, lavalier uh, wireless packs as well. And uh, you just hold up your uh, transmitter to the receiver and they sync pretty quickly with the little scan button that you push. The the, the rotary control, super easy to use. Uh, and then the buttons are super nice on the front end. On the back end, this is, the, this is a huge feature right here, guys, is we have Dante enabled and this uh, this can be a lifesaver for so many reasons you have uh, four XLR outputs if you want to use them if you have you know an analog system or if you just want to use analog outs into your uh, digital snake but I prefer to use the Dante because not only can you um, you know network these together daisy chain them with your Dante system have all of the connections uh, super simple with like one connection per unit instead of having to run four different wireless or four, four different wires uh, analog you can also on Dante enabled devices such as our uh, our uh, CL4 or our, our CL5 uh, Yamaha console you actually get to see the uh, the battery life of your handhelds or your wireless packs on the channel strip in the Yamaha console so that's huge for uh, for just making uh, for peace of mind in particular so that you know that your uh, your worship leader maybe your pastor all have the correct amount of battery life to get them through the rest of your service and uh, you can be on standby if you need to change that we also have a built-in antenna combiner system so you don't have to have a separate antenna combiner for for each of the channels it's built right into this so you have an a side and a b side for your antennas I do recommend getting yourself some directional antennas, guys. There's Omnis, there's directional, the helical. Um, there's there's all kinds of different paddle and and helical connector uh, uh, antennas out there. Um, I'll put some uh, some examples in the description. I prefer the directional paddle um, antennas myself, unless you're trying to get a, a great distance away. The directional helicals are super nice, but they're also more expensive. So uh, you do have to buy handheld, uh, uh, you know, microphones with this. The transmitters themselves don't come with this specific system, and the cost of this is is relatively prohibitive if you're in, um, you know, in, in in a in a budgetary situation where you know six thousand dollars isn't going to work with you, work for you now. $6,000 that works out to be what, uh, $1,500 per channel, right? Um, but let's look at this in comparison to the Sennheiser, uh, that's the, the Sennheiser EW500 series, the, the uh, um, these are both G-band units, um, completely uh, compatible with, uh, you know, US uh, uh, wireless, um, I should say restrictions because there's more restrictions than there there is not restrictions in the US as far as wireless band goes but this one um, is about $1,600 a channel uh, great microphone comes with it um, which is fantastic 
but you also have to buy the antenna combiner separately. So you have to buy this unit here, which is or $750 plus uh, for these if you want to get the same functionality. And this one does not come with Dante abilities. It does come with an ethernet out, which is nice so that you can, um, I think there's a 360 view here. So uh, on the back end, let's see if I can find a picture of the back end. Let it load for a second. You can uh, hook this up to your wireless network or your ethernet network. And uh, there is a Sennheiser software that shows you um, that, that that runs you know your battery operation, your frequency operation, and these sorts of things, which is great. However, it's I believe until like, at least over the last couple of years, this was a PC only um, application. So you have to run it in in a PC only. You have to have a separate computer as well to to pull this up on. And uh, the great thing about the Dante enabled bit of the Sure is that you see it right on the channel strip of you know, CL5 or, or I think Digico does the same thing. Um, but the, uh, the uh, having it all just work so seamless to together with Dante makes a huge difference. Now, these are the microphones I do recommend with the Shure ULXD uh, uh, systems. You can get the Beta 58, the Beta 87. I believe there's a Beta uh, 87A as well as the Beta, Beta 87C here. Um, I personally love the Beta 58. All of my vocalists have been super happy with them. You can get, if you have any Divas, and some of you probably do, you uh, they'll want their Beta 87As, and you can certainly grab one of those ULX uh, D2 slash B87A systems. It's gonna cost you a little bit more for that. I think we're looking at about $800 more. Um, uh, the 87C is $750. So. Um, you can pick these up guys on uh, sure for uh, this is a great price right here I hope this uh, this is something picked up by somebody on this video uh, watching this video because it's a fantastic price forty nine hundred five hundred dollars for a uh, it's a new open box unit um, would be fantastic steal for somebody in fact I might have to pick this one up because we have a new campus op opening and uh, could use a system just like this but um, with that guys I don't have any more information on this. I have been using it for over uh, probably six, seven years now um, between uh, corporate audio and video and uh, and church audio and video and it has been fantastic. Now, um, if you wanna go to the Sennheiser route, don't forget your antenna combiner. It will take all of your antennas, all four of your uh, wireless um, systems into this It'll also consolidate power, guys, which is great also about the Sure. You have one power supply for the entire strip where uh, with the Sennheiser, if you're using all wall warts, you have to use four different wall warts or you can plug them all into this antenna combiner and make it a complete system with uh, fewer wires. Uh, definitely more than the Sure. You'd have four analog plus the four antenna um, combiners or the four power, which actually ends up being your antenna combiner. Um, the, the, the BNCs, I should say, that come off of the, uh, the Sennheiser systems work as a, uh, as a, um, power and, uh, and, um, you get power and antenna, co um, combined through the, uh, the little BNC connectors that you connect into the antenna combiner. So that does help with the, uh, the cording issues, but you still have eight wires going into the combiner and uh, between audio or uh, four, four channels of audio coming out of the four wireless systems plus four channels uh, of BNCs for the combiners. And it's just so much simpler to have one clean rack unit where you have to have for the, to get that many units of, of Sennheiser, you actually have to have three rack units because you have four channels, each are half rack plus the combiner, which is basically, uh, it's, it's a half rack it's, itself. So you're really using two and a half rack spaces um, for the Sennheiser system where you only have to use one full for the Sure. So again, another factor that really plays into this decision, guys, is um, the ULXD 4Q wins out big time 
might be a little bit more expensive overall if the system were, were apples to apples, but you're probably only saving yourself about $1,000 if that, um, if you go with the Sennheiser system plus the combiner and, uh, and, and the handhelds and all that. So um, with that guys, thank you for watching. I hope you got some value in this video. If you did, head over to freejuicecoffee.com, order yourself a 12 ounce bag of roasted to order coffee. And they're a Christian company guys. They, uh, they, the owners go to our church. They donate coffee to our uh, uh, for our espresso bar at the church, which is fantastic. They actually sell espresso machines on their website. So if your church is into coffee, they do wholesale uh, pricing as well. Um, so look into that. And uh, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell to see more content just like this in the future. God bless.